Hello learners, welcome to our channel. Today we will discuss about unit algebra. Myself, Dasan Bharat. I am Shruti Kumari. My name is Ajay. Introduction of unit hydrograph. The unit hydrograph is a fundamental concept in hydrology that represents the response of catchment to the unit rainfall access. The unit hydrograph is a graphical representation that illustrates the direct runoff produced by catchment in response to unit depth of excess rainfall over specific duration. The concept was originally proposed to relate direct runoff to excess precipitation and is widely used in hydrology for flood forecasting, water shade management and hydraulic engineering project. Now, unit hydrograph theory. Developed by Sherman 1932 to determine the direct runoff hydrograph from the effective rainfall hydrograph. Unit hydrograph is defined as the direct runoff resulting from one unit of effective rain depth occurring uniformly over the watershed at a uniform rate during specified period of time. Limitations of unit hydrograph. It can't be applied to very large and very small catchment areas. Not suitable for the long basin, application for a short duration, precipitation must be from rainfall only, the base period is not exactly the same for all storms, catchment area shouldn't have large storage such as tanks, ponds, etc. Not applicable for basins having a high variation of rainfall intensity. Application in flood analysis, in flood prediction, in hydrological modeling, in design of flood control structures, in land use planning, in flash flood forecasting, in emergency preparedness, in risk assessment and management. Method of developing unit hydrographs. First one from stream flow data, second synthetically, third fitted distributions and fourth one geomorphologic. Diagram of unit hydrograph. In this diagram we will see all the parts of unit hydrographs. Let's cover the basics of a unit hydrograph. First, let's define what a unit hydrograph is. By definition, a unit hydrograph results in exactly one inch of excess precipitation for a design storm. It results in addition to a volume of the unit hydrograph to be exactly one inch. The following hydrograph depicts a unit hydrograph. It is very similar to a direct runoff hydrograph. The main difference is that the area underneath the curve of the unit hydrograph divided by the watershed area is equal to one inch. So what is the purpose of a unit hydrograph? It is a transform function which, convert, which converts excess precipitation into direct runoff. A unit hydrograph allows the development of a design storm hydrograph. So, if you're given this hiatograph, which shows excess precipitation as a function of time, and you combine it with a unit hydrograph, the output would be a direct runoff hydrograph. The volume of the unit hydrograph is one inch, while the volume of the excess precipitation and direct runoff are equal. So in the next series of videos including this we will discuss and explain unit hydrographs and how to design for direct runoff hydrographs. Let's discuss the, the idea of proportionality. The principle of proportionality is used to create a unit hydrograph from a direct runoff hydrograph. The hydrograph shows a figure with direct runoff and a unit hydrograph. The principle of proportionality states that the flow values of direct runoff divided by the volume of direct runoff is equal to the flow values of the unit hydrograph divided by the volume of the unit hydrograph. We know that the volume of the unit hydrograph is one inch by definition. So the volume of the direct runoff can be calculated as the area under the curve in this case the hydrograph, divided by the watershed area and convert into inches. So let's do an example to illustrate how to use proportionality. Assume the total runoff hydrograph we measured over four hours is 30 minutes. The base flow 
oh, is four hours, and it has 30-minute intervals. The bass flow is 10 